Ladies and gentlemen, friends and guests, dignitaries of Tecumseh Area Council, thank you for the opportunity to share remarks with you this evening. Why me? A decade ago, I walked into Bravo Medical at the National Jamboree and met three of who would become my best friends, Jennifer Lutz, Matthew Kuntz, and Hunter Marks. This summer, Jennifer had the opportunity to be the course director for Wood Badge, and Matthew and Hunter encouraged me to attend. They promised me shenanigans, but also that my troop guide was one of the best. I didn't realize how correct they would be. Early in the course, it was apparent to me and my patrol and the rest of the staff that our patrol had quickly formed a performing unit and we would stay there throughout the program, which made for a very, very powerful learning opportunity. As I look at the personalities of those in my patrol, I recognize that most of them are not people I would seek out. So this success can only be attributed to our troop guide and her leadership. What I found was I was not only receiving a world-class and life-changing training, but Matt and Hunter were right. My troop guide was truly incredible. I also learned that Tecumseh Area Council has some of the best scouters in the world. Everyone I met was exceptionally dedicated to the aims and methods of scouting. They were knowledgeable, they were helpful, they were friendly, they were everything a scouter should be. And so to stand out in this group is no easy feat. As I completed this training, I recognized that I was taking on the yoke to be one of those scouters, to represent the ideal of scouting, not just to my youth, but to other scouters. And I was the example they should now be following. At first, this was very overwhelming. But as I paused, I recognized that I was being equipped for it through the leadership of my troop guide, and I would always have her example to follow. When I think of scouters that I look up to and have looked up to in the last 30 years of scouting, it's easy to see, especially in retrospect, a correlation between the wood beads and a little blue and white knot. As I studied my troop guide's uniform, I was almost shocked to see that she didn't already have one of those blue and white knots. But tonight we have the opportunity to change that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in offering a very due congratulations to my troop guide, Ms. Sydney Palomino.